It's Tuesday, September 24th, 2013. I'm David Pierce, certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. Was Stephen Elop rewarded for selling Nokia's handset business to his former employer, Microsoft? According to one of Finland's largest newspapers, the now former CEO's contract included a payout in the event that Nokia's stock price fell sharply, then rebounded due to a, quote, change of control. Which, you know, happened. Nokia originally stated Elop's contract was essentially the same as his predecessors. The company's legal department later blamed the oversight on a, quote, working place accident. It's a very suspicious situation that has ruffled many Finnish feathers, including those of the prime minister. China is relaxing its web censorship in the name of economic growth. According to government insiders, people within the special Shanghai free trade zone will have unhindered access to a number of popular social and news services, including Twitter, Facebook, and the New York Times. As one of the insiders points out, the goal is to make visitors to Shanghai feel more comfortable and therefore stimulate more trade and investment from overseas. Poking my friends from my hotel in Shanghai? Plane ticket acquired. And finally, Horse eBooks has been unmasked. I have a BFA. The popular nonsensical Twitter account that was once thought to be a spam bot is actually the work of real people, who claim the gibberish was all part of a, quote, conceptual art installation. Now that the secret is out, both Horse eBooks and the duo's YouTube channel, Pronunciation Book, will be retired permanently. And that's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, I star in my own Fashion Police spinoff where I tell you what's hot and what's not in the tech world.